Grok4 AI tutorial and review. How to use Grok4. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can get started with Grok4, which is a super popular AI model, which has now expanded its capabilities with Grok Heavy and its own AI companions. So let's jump right in. To get started with Grok, simply head on over into grok.com. Now from here, you're going to click on sign up on your top right to get started. And once you click on sign up, you can proceed with signing up with Google, Apple, or your email address. I'm just going to be proceeding with a quick Google sign up. And then I'm just going to select the relevant email address that I want to use like so. And just like so, we have signed up to Grok4. Now, once you sign up for Grok, again, Grok has multiple different models. You're going to see on your bottom left within the prompt box, you have auto, which chooses the best model depending on the query that you present. After that, you have fast. Now, if you're on the free version of Grok, you will only have access to the fast version. However, there's also Grok4, which is the expert version, which thinks hard and is able to create detailed answers. Within Grok4, you can also upload files, add text context, draw sketches, connect to Google Drive, connect to OneDrive, as well as proceed with creating images, getting latest news, and so much more. Within your Grok dashboard on the left, you will find a section for voice as well as files, tasks, and projects to make everything easier for you. And you have a history section to track all of your queries with Grok. Now we're going to head on over and go back into our brand new chat. And then from here, we're going to proceed with our query. So I'm going to show you guys a few examples we have created using Grok4 as well. Starting off with some of our basic queries within Grok4, which include IO psychology. So you guys can see these are a few basic questions I've asked Grok, which is to find some literature gaps and suggest three variables. And these are the answers that it provided me, which are pretty detailed and include a definitive topic. Then I asked it to create a image of a team working in an office, and this is what it created. Then after that, we asked it to change the color of the shoes within this particular image. So this was my original image where the model was wearing a skin colored wedge and I asked it to change the shoes to strappy heels in a red color. And this is what it created. Then some more team images as well as some caption ideas. So these are just some general things that we have demonstrated. Now we're going to go ahead to let Grok and I'm going to go ahead and proceed with a general query. So I want to know everything I need to know about, let's say AI. So everything I need to know about AI, and now it's first going to be proceeding with building our detailed request. Keep in mind whenever you're using Grok4, it's going to take a bit of time because it's going to provide you with a detailed answer. Grok4 has the ability to do market analysis and provide you with far more detail than you would normally think. So this makes sure that you are able to build detailed reports, you're able to scan documents as well as build a comprehensive analysis of any type of data that you might have gathered on your own. So right now it is browsing and just like so Grok has now began to answer our questions. It took it around 57 seconds to answer our questions which is you know a bit of a short time because we did not ask it for anything too specific or anything that was too data heavy. But you guys can see a brief history of AI, types of AI as well as key technologies so on and so forth. Now it's even showing me some applications and much more. Now what I love about using Grok is that Grok is not a model that is only going to be giving you text answers. You can create images, edit your images, and even just get the latest news. So if I click on tell me the latest news, and I'm going to click on quick answer over here to get a quick answer about the latest news, and now it's going to provide me with a quick answer. US politics, international news, entertainment, sports, and technology. Now what I can do is that I can even use Grok for different personas. So Grok has a Grok companion, unhinged comedian, loyal friend, as well as homework helper, Grok doc, and therapist. So let's say I go into Grok doc. Hi, what can you help me with? Grok is not a doctor, so please consult one and don't share personal information that can identify you. And from here, it's going to break down symptoms, explain conditions, and much more. So let's say I want to ask it to build me a healthy lifestyle plan to lose 10 kilograms, just like so. And based upon the information it has, it's going to provide me with an answer. So now it is going to provide me with lifestyle changes, dietary 
dietary as well as exercise goals, so on and so forth. You're going to set a foundation, calorie deficit, daily meal ideas, and so much more. So you can truly have a customized answer when you're using Grok. And the same goes for any of the other personas, including therapists, homework helpers, little friends, and much more within Grok. Now, if we take a look at how Grok is, you guys can see, hey love, how are you? I'm doing great, buzzing with all the latest updates, so on and so forth. Keep in mind that Grok is a very unfiltered tool. This is the companion version, and with the companion version, Grok 4 can be a bit more explicit. And Grok also does have its own AI, AI companions available in the form of three models. They have Rudy Good, Rudy Bad, as well as a female model and an up-and-coming male model as well. So you can use all four of those models within the mobile version of Grok as well. Now we're going to take a look at a few images. So drawing a otter playing a ukulele, a river otter playing a ukulele, and it creates two. It creates two different types of images. So just like so, it has created two images. Now if you want more hyper-realistic images, you can define that. You can define what kind of colors you want or the overall aesthetic you want. In watercolor styles, you can see it has some further edits that it's going to recommend. And whenever you're editing images with Grok, it even has suggestions that you can incorporate. Now, what I really like about using Grok is that not only does this serve as a really amazing AI tool, but when you're using Grok, you can go into projects to further add projects, which makes everything easier. So if you're working on a very specific project, then you can set up instructions for that. Let's say I'm looking to find a really amazing research topic. So I can set up those instructions here, add those attachments, and have relevant conversations only within this project, which is just going to ensure that my project has the relevant information, the conversations are always related to that project, and Grok is able to have a very fine-tuned model with my particular interest in mind or my particular goals in mind. Not only that, but you have a simple task tracker. You can create a daily task as well for Grok to receive a daily productivity boost or to generally have a recurring task. Now, all of this is available on Grok, and if you want to use the full capabilities of Grok 4, then you do need to upgrade. So you guys can see that Grok has different pricing, and the basic version of Grok starts at $30, and then it goes up to $220 and $200. So Grok Heavy, if you want to use that, which is their most expert level model, which is, you know, the same as using a team of experts, this is only available on their $200 plan. However, you can get access to Grok 4 and the expert version of Grok using the simple heavy version of Grok 4, which is only $20 every month. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.